Hello my dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Here we are in one of our cinnamon gardens and uh, we have been removing weeds. You can see that by the heap here. That's my friend and he's resting now after working in the cinnamon garden. I will show you um, well, we were okay, I believe if you come here, we can show the viewers where we were. You see it's nice and clear here. And if you go a little bit to the right, then you can see well, we still have to do our job. It's a pain because we have these plants that go all the way around the branches, you know. They go, look, these little ones here, they go all around the cinnamon uh, branches. And, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, it's grown for about a year and now it's a real big job, but you know, it's still good. You can see the results. Well, show them here, uh, the leaf where we were recently. You see, you see a big difference between here and where we still have to go. It looks like a jungle, but uh, still, you know, every day we do a few hours of work. And then by the end of the week, we are much further already. And later on, the, the heaps will go as a kind of fertilizer to the paddy fields. And then, uh, you know, what they say, the knife cuts both ways. Okay. Well, this one is also one of the tools, but it's, uh, you know, the, the jungle. This is normally for, uh, if you have a little bit of uh, weeds. I uh, had it made here. It's a, a Dutch a way of uh, getting, uh, cutting weeds, but because of the, because of so much, it's not... Oh, here you can see how these things we have to take out. They're all entwangled on the branches, you know. It's another thing, you see? All these things, they wind around the branches. It's another thing we have to uh, watch out, you know. And here are, you know, the cinnamon. They've grown so fast. We, uh, I was here in 2017 and they were like that. And now we're yep. five years uh, further Four, and they're yeah. much higher, they're twice as tall as I am. But uh, we have to continue because, uh, you know, it's getting hotter and hotter. And we decided to do two hours in the morning and two hours in the later afternoon when the, the heat is a bit less than now. Okay, <laughs> we have to go on. <laughs> Okay, here you can see the leaf removing the weeds. Uh, you see it's a big job. And that uh, tool that he's handling is quite heavy, I noticed. But it's the most effective way of getting through weeds that are really grown for a longer period. And uh, he already made a little heap here. And later on, I will take uh, the rake and uh, collect it and then put it on the big heap where we uh, keep it for a while and then after a while we can uh, use it as a kind of fertilizer uh, and putting it on the on the paddy fields the the rice fields okay you leave if you want you can uh, take over the camera and i'll show you what my job is after you've uh, removed the weeds of me uh, collecting them with my rake and putting them on the on the big heaps and then uh, I think we can use a wheelbarrow 
to uh, to transport them because you know it's quite a lot. Okay, you leap. Here you go. Yeah, that's a good. He he does a very good job. He's a hardworking guy. Okay, here you go. Now where's the rake? Here. See now I collect the the little heaps that he made. And you can see right away the difference. Have to be quiet because it's a big one. Okay, here. Oh, sometimes it's a bit hard because they're, they're, they've grown so much that they're getting very slow. Okay, follow me. Yeah, see. And then I put them on top of the rest. And here we go. That's my job. Now this there was another heap. Like this one too, and uh, sometimes there's still sand, but by rolling it, you will uh, lose the sand. We have two heaps, so I'll go to the other one. But as I say, it's getting harder to get through. Oh la la! Yeah, here's the other one. Okay. Well, that's been our job now for yesterday and today. And, uh, you know, we were already pretty successful. But we have to go on. We have only half an hour because at 12 o'clock we want to stop. Because then it gets too hot. Then we'll uh, have a little break. And then at 4 o'clock we'll have two more hours. Till it gets dark. All right. Okay, I will sh show them the rice ready fill. Yeah. Okay, um, I will show you the uh, rice ready field as well. <laughs> 